because they actually get in your, your, your backside, like they ride up in that thing and it does not feel great. my channel if you're new welcome I'm Britton and this is the Britton Snow Effect and today from the thumbnail and the title you guys already know that we're here to talk about shapewear shapewear is definitely something that's like a staple in a curvy girl thick girl plus size girl like wardrobe like they need their shapewear um honestly I don't really wear shapewear a lot because I like to be comfortable and honestly, I just don't like a lot of clothes. So I don't really wear undergarments <laughs> at all. Like, <laughs> you take that how you want to. Like, I, I just don't like a lot of clothing. I don't really like to be hot. Thank God it's October and it's finally cooling down because I really like cold weather and it just be cool. So I don't wear a lot of shapewear, but when I really, really just wanna look a little snatched, you know, a little bit more mm, 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 than usual, then, you know, I will go ahead and dwell in the shapewear. So a good thing about this video is it's not sponsored. And I'm not trying to sell you guys any like high priced ass shapewear um, or tell you what shapewear to get. I'm really just showing you different, uh, basically different types of shapewear. I'm showing you three types today. Only one of them is actually like a big brand. It's Spanx, everybody knows about Spanx. And Spanx are a little pricey depending on where you get them. I did get mine from Macy's and they were on sale that time. So, you know, but they can, you know, they can be kind of pricey. But the other two forms of shapewear that I'm gonna be showing you guys are just regular smegular shapewear you can get anywhere. I actually got the two kinds I'm gonna show you from either Target or Walmart and they're fairly cheap as far as shapewear can be or go, you know, to be cheap. Um, so not trying to put anything like just anyway, this is just to help. This isn't to sell. I know, you know, sponsor videos, they do help us, but you know, we be trying to push that product. This ain't it. That ain't it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the shapewear that I actually wear with this dress of, I don't have it on at the present time because I'm going to show it to you. Um, but the first thing, the first piece of shapewear is basically like your average pair of shorts that you know have a little bit of compression in the tummy area this is what that looks like um i didn't want to show you guys like with me having it on because y'all know youtube be playing gonna try to flag me tell me i ain't suitable for all advertisers and all that so i want to be really you know cut and dry and just show y'all <laughs> the actual shapewear but i did show you a clip here of what it looks like when I have the shapewear on versus when I don't have it on. So anyway, this is the short set and again, it's basically just a pair of shorts, as you can see here. Um, and then it has the extra tummy compression top. So about these, again, they I'm pretty sure I got these from Target and I don't know the brand because in the inside is just an M. So yeah <laughs> but anyway basically any pair of shorts that you can get from you know target they even sell shapewear in like uh marshall's tj maxx place like that these are just shorts it's extra like tight and compression wise up here to hold your tummy in and then the leg part is a little bit more loose now i love these personally because the tummy tight part actually can go all the way up under my boobs so like all that back fat and stuff that you know you know they be right there this got you covered it's gonna cover that right on up so i love it because like this stretches up so far also out of all of the shape where i'm going to show you today i do feel like this is the most comfortable these were probably about 15 to 16 dollars at target and the only issue is because it comes up so far like if i was to wear a crop top and some high-waisted jeans no this wasn't gonna cut it because it's gonna come up too far even also if i wasn't gonna wear high-waisted jeans which i don't think you would need shapewear in regular jeans but anyway these come up really far the the part that covers your stomach so you couldn't wear anything that's gonna like show some belly because you would show this so this is probably more suitable for a dress um or skirt or if i don't know why you would have on oh you could have on some high-waisted jeans and like a bodysuit, long as the bodysuit ain't like cut low in the back or anything, and then this will be good for that.
Now the second pair of shapewear I'm gonna show you is what I have with this skirt. Um, these are more like your briefs, like panty-like shapewear, and I got these from Walmart. I actually can see the brand here. It's Ava Viv. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but they basically just look like panties, and they're huge, guys, because I have a big butt, okay? Sorry. Um, but these are size 16W. Actually, the other shape where I showed you was, was a large. So this is a 16, and it is basically just some panties that have, like, ruching on the side. And the ruching on the side is to push you know push you in make you look a little curvy um i do not think that these hold you in as well as the short ones because it just doesn't have like that extra compression like the whole panty is pretty much just thick material you could actually wear this as a bathing suit because it's thick you can't see through it at all and um it's like has this mesh so it really could be high-waisted bathing suit bottoms if you know you're into that um but i do wear these with shorts um these can be worn with high-waisted jeans because it doesn't come up too much and it kind of curves in like because they're like panties with your back so these are good for high-waisted jeans these are good for high-waisted shorts uh, the other ones actually aren't good for high-waisted shorts. I didn't mention that, but they're not because they're shorts themselves and they could tend to extend a little bit lower than your actual shorts. And nobody wants to see that. It's kind of tacky. But, um, yeah, so I would wear these with high-waisted shorts or high-waisted jeans. These are also good with skirts like I wore it, dresses. Pretty much you could do everything with these that you can do with the short ones besides, you know, I wouldn't wear anything too short with that because it's actual shorts. These are panties, so, you know, around the pubic area is going to cut just like underwear so if you had on some really short shorts or a really short skirt you wouldn't see these versus the shorts ones that are made like shorts you would see those because they're like shorts so depending on how short <laughs> depending on how short your skirt or your dress is mm, they might not be the ones for you because you know you may see them but um these are still a really good option So the last pair that I'm gonna discuss, um, I love them, but I hate them at the same time. They are actually Spanx. And the reason that I love them is because they are thongs. If you guys can see, um, they're thongs, but they have that compression panty-like top. So from this way, they look like briefs, but if you turn them around, you can see the little string and it's a thong. Now, again, I said these are actual Spanx and these are an extra large. So these were the more pricier option of the three. Um, I got these at Macy's. I think they originally were like $35 or $40 and I got them on sale for like $25. It was a while. Now, the thing I don't like about these is they are not high-waisted pants friendly because they're thongs and they can, you know, slide in your buttocks. Um, they come up really high. So, huh, one day I did have my high-waisted pants with them. And when they're fine when you're standing, but when you sit down, you know, your high-waisted pants kind of go down a little bit, depending on how big your butt is, I guess. And these rise up, so you could definitely see the whole entire back of this like it was horrible so i wouldn't wear these with high-waisted jeans another thing about this is that sometimes this part because the the bottom part of the fabric is so thin and loose like regular panty the part that's like thick and stuff at the top it can fold over which is like okay that's besides the point that defeats the purpose like i need you to hold it but if your stomach's kind of big it may fold under it um, so like I love these because I don't really care for underwear and I prefer thongs but these thongs are sometimes a pain in the ass literally because they actually get in your, your, your backside like they ride up in that thing and it does not feel great but this is still an option uh, this probably would be a better option for a skirt in a dress I'm not I don't know about pants like I didn't have a good experience so I would just say stick with these for a skirt or a dress. But those are the three types of shapewear that I typically like. Out of all three, I would go for the short 
ones that look like shorts. I think I mentioned that when I first explained them. And the only thing with them is depending on what you're wearing, they may be too long and actually show. But those are the three most basic type of shapewear that I use or I've seen. Now other types you know would be more like a corset thing and they will go all the way up and that's just doing a lot because I just told y'all I don't like undergarments. But yeah, I really like those three types. So I hope this video was informative. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, do, do feel free to leave them in the bottom box, the comment box, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.